Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about fall faux fur coats and I absolutely love wearing them. I think they're fabulous, I think they're stylish, I think they're warm. So they are definitely a staple in my closet. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you like these type of videos. Make sure you hit the like button as well. And yeah, follow me over on Instagram if you like fashion and style inspiration. I post every single day and you can kind of see my feed right here. But uh, anyways, let's jump into this faux fur coats for fall. I'm starting off with this super cool color and it's considered a turquoise color but I feel like it's more of a bluish gray and it feels so cozy. Oh my gosh, like absolutely amazing. I love that it has a collar at the top as well. I feel like you can really cozy up in this kind of coat. The buttons are very nice and it really does up all the way to the top which is super super convenient on these chilly days. And the length is super nice as well, so it just goes kind of past your butt, which is amazing. There, it has really, really big, big pockets, so you can really fit a lot in there or just put your hands in there. So, so comfortable when it's so cold outside. And I just want to say, like, with these faux fur coats, like, I find them as warm as some down jackets, and that says something. I do live in Canada, and it does get, like, really, really cold here. And wearing these faux fur coats just makes you look stylish but also keeps you warm. So this particular coat, I really like it, but I feel like the sleeves are a little bit short. So if you have long arms like me, that might be an issue. But I do truly love the color. I think it's so pretty. And I feel like they did a really nice job with the faux fur. It's kind of shiny and kind of reflects the light off of it. The color is very very different than what you normally see and I feel like it makes it look very expensive. So overall I really like it, I feel like it's very cozy, it has a nice lining as well and these buttons are really great, I feel like they're on here pretty good. I hate when you buy a jacket and within one wear you have to like re-sew on the buttons so I don't think that would be the case with this one. The only complaint that I have is the short sleeves. So that's gonna look a little bit awkward, I guess. This jacket also comes in a pinkish color, so if that is your preference, you can definitely check it out. I did order a size 38 in this, which is a US 6. Could get away with it being a little bit uh, smaller, but I kind of like the oversized and uh, bulky look of this. Next up, we have this little bit lighter jacket right here. I absolutely love the texture. It's kind of like this teddy texture, which is super nice. It's kind of like a sheep, actually. So I love the bomber style. It's very, very cool. And uh, it has kind of this fabric uh, on the zipper, which is really nice. Again, love the collar. I always love collars on jackets just because you can just pop it up when it gets too cold and kind of walk around like that. That is what I do a lot of the times if I don't have a scarf. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit loose. I guess I ordered a size. Again, I ordered a size 38, which is a US 6, and I could definitely get away with it being a little smaller. I think in this style, the jacket looks a touch big. But it's a very comfortable jacket. It's definitely not as heavy as the first one, but on a little bit of a warmer winter day, you can definitely get away with it. Also, the jacket isn't as long. It's just kind of past my, past my hips, which is nice, but uh, more of a sportier style for sure. I absolutely love the off-white again. Off-white is definitely one of my absolute favorites. And uh, the nice thing about it is I don't think with this texture you really have to worry too, too much about getting it dirty. It definitely feels very comfortable and not too heavy. But yeah, the draped look also looks really cool. If you're in the market for a more of a sporty teddy slash faux fur jacket, this is definitely one to consider. This jacket right here was in the jacket section, but I would literally consider this like a cardigan. It is super flimsy. It's from the Divided label from H&M. I did order a medium. It feels so flimsy and cheap. <sighs> Definitely, wow, like what is this? It's like half a jacket. 
definitely not something I would want to buy or keep or anything like that. It's super weird. It doesn't have a collar, which in some cases is fine, but this literally feels like I should be wearing a school uniform or something. I don't know. It's really, really not what I thought it was going to be. So I'm gonna, gonna show you a little bit of the texture. It's just like a, like a, like a teddy, but really thin and it's also not lined. I don't know why they would put it in the jacket section. To me, this is really just a cardigan and I know it was only $39, but I literally thought it was gonna be a little bit more substantial than this. But this must be one of my favorite pieces from this order. It is a true teddy jacket. It is a little bit longer. It literally goes to half of my upper leg and it is just so cozy. This is really one of the true teddy jackets, I would say. And a lot of you were commenting on my Instagram that uh, wanting to know where my other teddy jacket is from. The other one is from Forever 21, but this one is from H&M. So I just wanted to show this one right here just because it is in stock. And the price is also really good. I think this one is $99. I ordered a medium in this and it's quite bulky, but again, for this type of style, it's really, really nice to just be cozy and for it to be like a little oversized. Personally, I love oversized, but I would probably order this in a size small. So the cut is kind of interesting. It This is just how it lays and how it is, but you can't really like fold this over, like it doesn't really stay. Kind of interesting, but different. Like, I don't really mind it. Compared to the first faux fur jacket, this one isn't as heavy. So you can wear it on like a warmer winter day, but I don't know if you would get away with wearing it on a cold day. Maybe with like lots of layers underneath. That would be fine. But I absolutely love the texture. This like teddy texture is my favorite and uh, I love it so much. It's so cozy and so fun. I think you can do quite a lot with it. And I don't know, like it, it's just like a conversation piece too. Like every time I wear a teddy jacket, like people comment on it. So if you want to talk to some people about your jacket, wear a teddy one. Lastly, we have this black teddy coat right here. And it is kind of similar to the previous one, but not as long. It also has lapels, which is super cool. There was like some fluff coming out. These are these buttons are definitely the kind of buttons that are sewn on and you'll probably have to re-sew at some point, which isn't my favorite, but I like the style in general. It's really cozy. The length is nice. Again, just uh, past my butt. It has a pocket so you can put your hands in just like that to stay warm. And yeah, I think it's a pretty nice coat. Again, the sleeves are a little short, could be longer, but I'm a little bit of an exception with my long arms. So yeah, I think it's pretty cute. You may be able to see the texture of this. Like it's not the softest, but it's nice. It's very much like a teddy-like jacket. I am getting really warm in this right now, so that is a very good thing. I think the quality of the previous one is a little bit better so I think it was a bit more expensive maybe it was actually I said before it was 99 but maybe this one was actually a little bit over $100 so that might actually be the one for 99 I just grabbed the packing slip and it doesn't say the prices so I don't remember but yeah, or maybe this one was 79. I will have to check it and just check in the description box below and I'll put all the prices in there as well. But yeah, overall a great coat. I think a black teddy coat is very nice to have. It will obviously go with everything and you can definitely dress it up and down. Whereas maybe a lighter color like this would be kind of more on the casual side depending on what you want to wear it with. But yeah, super cozy. Like I said, I absolutely love teddy coats and I think they keep you super warm. So if you are not the kind of person who wants to wear down coats in the winter time, 
think about uh, trying a teddy coat and maybe even having like a um, little down vest underneath and super chilly days but overall they keep you super super warm so thank you guys so so much for watching i hope that you guys like this video and some of the coats that i picked like i said teddy coats are my favorite so i just had to do a video on it and if you're curious about the products just check in the description box below i have linked them there with the prices and the sizes that i was wearing in the video so until my next one i'll see you soon